Me reggae feel. Reggae Bell family, this is Summer Jam 2018, and I have the pleasure to be with someone who mash up like the dancehall crowd last night, played a segment together with Conscience, and then later on Alkaline on the green stage. The great Jamil, no other than him. Yeah. How is everything, sir? I'm great, you know. They are, I recover from last night, you know. I'm gonna give them full hundred last night, you know. Yeah. Try to catch back my voice on them things there, but you don't know, it was a great one. Definitely. You enjoyed yourself as well? Definitely, like, I, I felt the love last night, I felt the energy from the crowd, you know. Yeah. I see where people really appreciate the hard work I've been putting in for, you know, the past years, and it's a great feeling. If you can do what you love and people, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a great feeling. To see also, it. I've been feeling the same thing. There was a lot of exchange of energies with you and the crowd Broke, and stuff. Yeah. And I saw that also at previous performances you did, for example, in Sweden, you posted yeah, some videos. Sweden, Belgium, um, we did Switzerland. I did a show um, in Switzerland with Taurus Riley. Um, we did Barcelona. And yeah, I mean, all the shows were sold out and, you know, nice. everywhere I went to, like, the people know the songs. Yeah, you know, exactly. so. Nothing ever happened before the time. <laughs> yeah, man, the time was right. We yeah, give thanks. Definitely. And you play all two shows yesterday, not just even yeah, Summer Jam. Right? I did. Um, I was in Amsterdam before I um, came to Summer Jam, you know, and that show was crazy also. You know, me and Conscience did that show earlier. And then, you know, um, we come to Summer Jam and, you know, the performance never shot enough. I'm still give the people them all, you know. Right, right. And you don't know. Them feel the energy and. Hoping to you know, come back next year, if not the year after. Yeah, man, I don't yeah, know. Um, what what I find very interesting after your performance, uh, even while you while you were performing and and after that, when Conscience was playing and Alkaline after that, all the time other artists and you as well were watching other people's other yeah, others' performances. Definitely. Yeah, we're giving forwards part. In Taurus Riley was there, Charlie Black was there. Oh, you never you never too old to learn either. I can right. see Alkaline do something and say, yo, you know, so that is a great idea. Maybe I need to start, you know, do something like that. Or I can see a man like um, Taurus Riley, a man like Charlie Black, see him with experience and conscience. And, you know, we learn from each one, you know, each one to each one. I say it goes so. I don't know. We never make ego get in our thing, you see it. Yeah. And would you say that unity um, is the new spirit of dancehall? Because I also been watching interviews you did with Alkaline and the Goliga together and yeah. stuff. Just is treat. that is that just for a certain circle of people where say, all right, we together now are, are that is just the spirit of the day now. Well, unity is always strength. You get what I say? And I mean, I know Alkaline for your time. I know my father for your time. So. It's natural, you get me, I say. I just three great artists come together and we represent the music to the fullest and the oh people, no. them love the movement. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing are going in a Germany right now. To miss <laughs> is to this. Summer Jam is the spot. Oh Be a chat. <laughs> Mad. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, man, I love the positive energy, man, especially from you. Because you're an artist, you always endorse positivity. Definitely. Um, but but when the evil them come away, you know, me have to trample them, see them away. Ah, <laughs> but is that, is that a hard thing in an industry where um, a lot of times the hype is about rivalries, about feuds and stuff? I'm not the aggressor, you know, but I'm capable of doing anything. But my main focus is to do, um, like, motivational music as yeah. you know that people look forward from um, from jamming but at the end of the day obstacles are gonna come along the way and if me have to deal with it if if me get the energy for deal with it a certain way me go deal with it a certain way but that can't take me off from my part me just gonna deal with it and move forward because I'm always seeing a bigger picture. You get me I say but sometimes it's just a circle where you're in and sometimes you have to just deal with the matter how it have to deal with where at at that time and that stage you know but that's not the main focus. The main focus is to do worldwide music, music that can influence people in a positive way. And I mean, it's not nothing to, for people to take literal, it's just lyrical battle, you know. So I don't want the people them take it too far, you know. It's musical, same way. But Jamil, you can still look forward to get the motivational and inspirational songs them, because that's where my heart is. But the enemies them now pre oh me pre so <laughs> me I for sure them say we they are see and we yes, even though we say righteousness yeah right right but mm -hmm. how how did this the, this spirit of yours come about is that also your what is it your childhood like your upbringing that you were taught to be a positive person a motivational person um, 
it's a it's a inborn thing. Yeah, I mean you still you still like I just always stay a certain way as far as I can remember. Like, I always show love even when I can remember as far as primary school when you did have kids who come without lunch money and them things. I'm going to share my one I have as a little youth I go to primary school. You see me, I say I give, give my, um, the money that my parents work hard for just because somebody not have it. So it's an inborn thing and we just grew up with that. Never change, you see it. And I eat a year and the music the same way. And, a lot of people can relate because I'm not me alone stay, so, right, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that you're spreading this positivity and this motivation among the people. Them in times where a lot of people focus on negativity or mm -hmm. narcissism or superficial things and stuff like that. End of the day of life, you know. Sometimes you have to go through negative for see the positive some right. of the time. You know, say good come with the bad, happy come with the sad. I believe in that sad. End of the day, we just live without limit to see it. <laughs> yeah, and you mentioned your parents, they work hard for your lunch money and stuff, so how, how do your parents see you now? You traveling the world, being over yeah. here, Germany, hey, Amsterdam, everywhere? Number one fans them there. You see me, <laughs> right. I say, especially daddy, because my father was my first manager, okay. you know, first person to take out money and spend on my career, you know, did um, music videos for me, paid studio time, um, posters and all of them things there at, what, age 12. And even before that my father was there, like age seven I did my first performance. It's my dad who brought me there, along with a friend, you know, bachelor, speak up yourself if you see this right now, you know, who see the talent in a Jamil from a tender age and I say, yo, you have to take him serious, you know. If you're a little youth, him experience him bad, him advance and here am I now. See it. How him discover your talent? I think you've been singing and, and, and singing along songs from a very, very tender yeah. age, right? And the funny thing is that I never used to sing people's songs. Like I always make my own rhymes them. Oh, really? So that's why them I say, yo, in advance, I have to take him serious. Because I never see somebody from him age who, you know, have that confidence and I find him own little rhymes them and have him own little melody and them things. So it's an inborn thing. He have the talent, so why not? You know? <laughs> so we spoke so much about the upbringing, the childhood and the past, so let's talk about the future a little bit. What is coming up? What can the fans look forward to apart from the tour that you're still doing right now? Remember them call me Jamil aka Great Man, so just expect great things, you know what I say? I mean at the end of the day, we're living without limit. I do what I love, you see what I say? I have a strong team who have pushed me, you know, so I sing great songs, you know, the fans are, are being um, entertained by what I'm doing and just like, just continue to do what I love and I expect great things and I expect bigger things from that because at the end of the day when you're hot tonight and you love it you can expect great things. I believe in that. You know, clean art and, and hard work, you know, and do good and good follow you. I do a lot of good in the past and I feel like that uh, you know manifest a lot of things right now in the future. You know a lot of people feel like say you are just hard work do it. I see people work hard, hard, hard and them stay a certain way and just know say yo Jano. Them not even know say it's not because them work so hard make make certain things not happen. You get me I say? Because them just need to fix certain things and it's always good for tech telling. You see me I say so for the people them who stay that way they may talk about just know say. You see yes, I have a lot to do with success. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can has a lot to do with want as well, you yeah, know? Definitely. Yeah, man. So we have the great things to look forward to. Jamil, thank you know. so much for the interview, for the great words and inspiration, and keep doing the music. All the best. <laughs> Guidance on the tour. Yeah, man. Give thanks. I appreciate it. I don't know. Reggae Ville, I see it. Patriots, we're out. Me bad, me sick, me reggae ville. 